You have two eyes, two ears, two hands. Why don't you have three of anything? Reading chapter 24, we're looking at government in heaven. And what we learn here is there is no one form of heavenly government. So whether you want to either prop up or tear down the left, the right, the monarchy, a democracy, a tribe or family, capitalism, communism, or socialism, or any other worldly form of rule or ideology. If you're looking to justify your own political views, then this is the wrong place. A person can sincerely believe in and practice pretty much any form of government, as long as they abide by the overriding heavenly principle of mutual love. Swedenborg writes, nevertheless, no other government than the government of mutual love can operate in the heavens. And the government of mutual love is heavenly government. But all forms of government in the spiritual kingdom agree in this, that they look to the public good as their end, and in that good, to the good of each individual. Such governors do not domineer or dictate, but minister and serve. For to do good to others from the love of good is to serve, and to provide for its being done is to minister. Nor do they make themselves greater than others, but less. So the takeaway message? While there are people in the world who are looking after their own agendas and their own interests, earthly governments of any form are never going to be the heaven on earth we hope for. Last time we looked at Swedenborg's significant threes, but in paragraph 216 he mentions justice and judgment. So this time I want to dwell on some of the twos. In Doctrine of Sacred Scripture, he lists many of these pairs. Brother and companion, poor and needy, devastation and desolation, empty and void, adversary and enemy. He writes, these pairs seem to be synonymous, but in fact they are not. For one refers to goodness, and in the opposite sense evil, whereas the other refers to truth, and in the opposite sense falsity. And this is the reason why we have many pairs in the human body too. Love or the will does nothing except in conjunction with wisdom or the intellect. It is owing to this marriage that every single constituent of the body has a right and left side, the right side having a relation to good from which truth springs and the left side to truth springing from good, thus the two together to their conjunction. Do you remember our three levels from last time? Well, here's another way of looking at this. Love and wisdom are the pair who must unite in use to be fully realized. Do you remember what I asked you last time? How do love and wisdom find expression in your life? As always, you're welcome to read along with us or read ahead if you prefer. You may have questions you'd like to ask and put them in the comments below. Enjoy the journey.